Hey guys, it's Super Review Games or Adam, and welcome back to another one of my Fortnite's top five videos. And today I'll be going over five reasons you're not getting a lot of kills here in Fortnite. So, like always, guys, today I'll be giving away a bunch of PSN and Xbox cards to enter. It's so easy. All you have to do is drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment right now what is the most amount of kills you've ever gotten here in a single game of Fortnite. Also, if you do have a Twitter account, please attach your Twitter username to your comment it makes it a lot easier for me to contact you if you win and also I have one PSN card US PSN card hidden in the video so it's first come first serve with that so recently I've gone over five reasons why you aren't getting a lot of wins in Fortnite I've gone over reasons why you're dying so much but what about getting kills in Fortnite? Because you can win, you can you can stay alive for as long as you want, but if you're not getting many kills, then really, what's the point? You know, getting a win with two or one kills really isn't all that rewarding. So in today's video, I'll be going over five things you can do differently that will definitely increase your kill count. So starting out, let's off here in the number five spot. Accuracy here in Fortnite is incredibly important. And we're talking about accuracy, I'm specifically targeting the consoles here because of course on PC the mouse is just in another world when it comes to accuracy it's definitely a lot harder to aim and have that pinpoint accuracy with a controller than it is with a mouse but when it comes to console Fortnite I think what a lot of people do is they boot up Fortnite for the first time and they don't touch any of the settings they rarely change sensitivities and all that stuff and the thing is that sensitivity that stands Standard sensitivity definitely isn't for everyone. Now this is something that sounds so simple and basic and there's a lot of people out there who don't think it's all that important but sensitivity in a game like Fortnite is so incredibly important because you might be somebody who plays really well with a super high sensitivity or maybe a super low one and that one in the middle just isn't right for you. So what I recommend you do if you haven't touched it yet Please go into the settings and constantly play around with it because it will definitely help you out. And remember, there isn't just one overall sensitivity. You have, you know, left and right, up and down. You have ADS and then, of course, scope sensitivity. So there's a bunch of different things you can do. And I guarantee you, if you find something that's right for you, you'll definitely see yourself landing a lot more shots and getting a bunch more kills. So coming in at the number four spot on my list, Having the correct loadout will definitely increase the amount of kills you're getting every single game because having a bad loadout, especially once you get towards the end game, is never a good idea and towards the end game a lot of people are going to have legendary weapons and if you're sitting there with a burst, a white burst AR or a semi-auto shotgun and a pistol, you're probably not going to get that many kills in the game so having the correct loadout is super important. Now I can't really sit here and tell you guys exactly what loadout to use because every single game of Fortnite you always have different loadouts there's different situations and there's just different luck when it comes to loot now what I do like to do at the beginning of every Fortnite match I kind of go over the same loadout and that's having an AR a pump shotgun a semi shotgun and then I'll have two slots for shield and medkit now shield is either mini shields or regular shield and my medkit slot is either for bandages med kits or chug jug because chug jug does health and shield at the same time now once we get towards the end game my loadout definitely changes RPG is something I'm always on the hunt for I'm always trying to find that if I do find an RPG I'll either get rid of the medkit slot or the shield slot depending on what I have and how many I have of that specific thing or I'll get rid of the pump shotgun and have an AR a shoddy an RPG and I'm good to go now of course that's just only what I like to use here in Fortnite I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who like sniping for example so you might have to ditch one of the medkit slots or the shield slots and only have one slot for the two depending on what you have and what's more important in the scenario you are in but having the AR the shotgun and the RPG I find 
are super important and you should have those at all time. And then slot four or five, you can kind of customize depending on your play style. So coming in at the number three spot on today's list, the place you land is definitely going to determine how many kills you're getting every single game in Fortnite. If you land at a place like Junk Junction on the corner of the map, or you land at Wailing Woods where no one really goes, then you can't really expect to get many kills throughout the game. And a lot of people will do this just to kind of avoid other people so they have a chance to get to that, you know, top 10 situation or possibly get the win. But doing that, you're not going to get kills, which is just kind of unfortunate. So you should land at a place where it's not crazy, crazy busy, but you'll have a chance to get a couple of early kills and kind of get into the match. I always find that when I start a match and I don't get any kills within the first five or ten minutes, I'm kind of stale and I kind of like getting those first couple kills right at the start so I'm kind of into the match. Now, where are some good landing spots on Fortnite? So, Tilted Towers obviously is the most popular. I don't recommend going there, especially if you're struggling with getting a, you know, decent amount of kills every single game. Tilted Towers, you know, with that, even the best player can easily die just because, I mean, of course, RNG and so many people go there, it sometimes can be really frustrating going to Tilted. Now, some good spots that are busy but not too busy are Retail Row, uh, Salty Springs, Greasy Grove, uh, Pleasant Park, and I guess Fatal Fields isn't bad as well. There are definitely some good spots to land. Get a couple of kills, sometimes two, three, four, or five at the start of the match to kind of get into the game. And then once you get towards end game, you'll notice it'll be about, you know, eight, nine, 10, 12 kills. And that is a pretty decent kill count for a wooden Fortnite. So coming in at the number two spot on today's list, one way you can easily increase your kill count here in Fortnite is when you hear gunshots, please run towards those gunshots. So many people will hear gunshots and they will just book it in the other direction because of course they don't want to die. They want to get that end game and they want that W. So you know what? I don't blame you guys for running away from gunshots, but this is such an easy way to get kills. It's something you should really never be doing because when you hear gunshots, especially in solo, other people are engaged at shooting each other, right? They're not focused on somebody else coming out from the behind them or from the side. And when you hear these gunshots, it's so easy to just to kind of stroll up and either kill one or both people because there's a good chance that they are probably damaged from shooting each other. So you don't have to be crazy accurate here. A couple of shots in each guy and they're dead or one guy is left alive. You can easily clean him up and get all of that amazing loot. Now you don't necessarily even have to kind of go up to the battle. If, if you hear the gunshots, you can kind of look in a direction and usually or most of the time you can just see the players you know fighting it out and so many times you know you have one guy taking cover behind a tree and he has cover from the guy he's shooting at but guess what his back is facing you you shoot him a couple of times he's dead so when you hear gunshots kind of investigate because that will usually end up giving you some pretty easy kills and that's what you want that's how you increase your kill count here in fortnite so coming in at the number one spot on my list the best way hands down to increase your kill count here in Fortnite is simply by shooting when you see somebody. Now, I know that sounds really simple and really obvious, but a lot of people don't do this, and I, I don't understand why. When you see somebody, please, take the shot because you never know what their health is and you might get lucky you might get a couple of headshots on them and there's an easy kill because what most people do is they only shoot when they have to they only shoot when they're being shot at and they know well if i don't battle back if i don't shoot back here i'm probably going to die please when you see somebody running off in the distance Take a couple shots at them. Who knows, you might get a couple of headshots or you might take their shield down. At worst, you might not kill them, but hey, at least you took their shield down. Please shoot, you'll be surprised how many kills you'll get. Even when I play Fortnite, there are so many times where I'm, I'm running around the map and I see somebody that's, you know, pretty far away and I, and I kind of think, you know what, do I shoot them? And most of the time I'm thinking to myself, you know what, 
I don't want to alert them. I, I don't want them to know I'm here, so I'll let them be. But then I say, you know what? Adam, shoot. You never know. You might get the kill. And I, I take the shot, and so many times they have no shield, and there are a couple of shots, they're dead, and I get their loot. And you'll be so shocked on how much this actually works. So please, guys, when you're playing Fortnite, when you see someone in the distance and you have a clear shot, Try shooting again. You might miss you might not kill them at worst. You'll take their health down That's not too bad, but there's a good chance You'll get a couple of kills like this every single game and you'll find yourself getting a ton more kills Every game because of this one little thing. So there you have it guys Those are five ways or five reasons you're not getting a lot of kills here in Fortnite Battle Royale And I know that a lot of these things might sound really simple and really basic, especially for you guys who are more experienced, but you guys probably know this already, but for those of you who are newer to Fortnite, I guarantee you, even though it sounds simple and basic, there's a lot of people who don't do these things, like example, just shooting, so many people don't do that, and I never used to do that, but now I do, and I'm just shocked almost every single game on how many kills I get by doing one little thing or by changing my sensitivity. This stuff works, guys. Give it a go. But besides that, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more Fortnite's top five videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.